Sorry Gambinos, if you know anything about mafia business, then you already know that mobsters like to get into real estate. Naturally, you know that Don had to get his hooks in. I guess I must be in one of the weirdest markets ever though. There are people who apparently want to pay more money for their homes, and there's a huge market for tents, along with school buses and shipping containers that are located by the drainage pipe. And apparently, people don't care if their new house has a bedroom or not. And people don't keep them for very long either. At least, this is what Real Estate Simulator, the new game from developer Geekin and Midnight Games SRL would imply. Something tells me that actual real estate in real life isn't like this. At the very least, it sure as hell isn't this repetitive. By the way, just to let you know, I got a copy for free, so just being upfront and transparent with you guys. The Don's always going to be straight and on the level. Real Estate Simulator is pretty much what it says on the tent. You buy and sell houses and properties. You make your way to a property with a for sale sign, make an offer, then you renovate it and decorate it with items to get the star rating up. There are three districts, the slums, the suburbs, and the city. The suburbs and the city have to be unlocked and the grind is intense. When you start, you can only access the slums, and the only item you have access to is a sleeping bag. I played for over two and a half hours, but I was only able to unlock the city in the last 10 minutes. You start out in the slums, which is a little community under the drainage pipe. Apparently, it's a really popular hangout. All you can afford at the moment is a tent, so once you buy the tent, it's back to the office where you create a listing online and set a price. Then the customers will come to your office, explain what they need, and maybe your property will be a match. If it isn't, they'll leave and you'll just wait for another one, hoping that they will want whatever you have to sell. It's kind of weird the criteria that the customers use to turn down properties. One will turn down my tent despite wanting a one to two star property in the slums, which is what my tent was. And there are people who will turn down my property if it's too cheap. Imagine that. It's a trial and error process and you'll eventually discover how to get the most money off your properties. Once you do find a match, you head back to the property and make your customer the offer. You can either let them lowball you or try to propose something higher. Once the deal is made, then it's glorious. My luxurious tent and sleeping bag combo that I can buy from Walmart for about $200 sold for $1,500. Soon, you'll be able to move up to abandoned shipping containers and dilapidated school buses. And of course, you'll unlock the suburbs and city, and you'll be able to sell actual houses. Strangely, there's a respawn rate on the properties. I could literally sell a property one day and see a for sale sign later. It's like people will pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a property only to abandon it the next day and clean it out neatly enough to sell it again. The grind and repetition are the game's biggest problems. I had to sell dozens of tents over and over again before I could unlock the suburbs. Even after I unlocked the suburbs, I still had to push tents and shipping containers before I could afford the cheapest property that was out there. And of course, when you do unlock the city, the buildings there are in the millions. The other big problem is the interface. The game has an overworld full of non-playable characters, but it's completely unnecessary because I can't interact with any of them. And the only places I can go to is the bus stop, of course, to travel to another district or to another property. So really, what was the point? It's not even that visual appealing either, and there's only a small area of each district that I can access until I hit the invisible wall that cuts me off from the rest of the world. Moreover, I need to go to the computer in my office to buy equipment and material to renovate the properties. However, when I select an item to place, I bring up a tablet in the game, so why not let me use the tablet to buy new materials? It just makes the grinding more tedious than it needs to be. And that's of course not even getting into the bugs and glitches. Thankfully I haven't found anything game breaking yet, but it's clear that this game needed more time to cook. The good thing at least is that it's only 13 bucks. Still if you're looking to experience a career in digital real estate, you might want to wait until it goes on sale. Or better yet, just check out the tenants and house flipper instead. Well, that was Real Estate Simulator. 
I might dive back into it sometime later to see maybe there's more to find or maybe more to discover. Who knows? But if you made it this far, let me know the name of your favorite simulation game. Mine is The Sims 3. Anyway, going forward, and some of you might even notice this off some of my more recent videos, instead of giving a grade to a review and a preview that I do, I'll just give a general impression of if I think you should play it or not. Let me know if you like it this way or if you like the old way better. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, and by the way, welcome. I like to cover indie games, retro titles, and game-related hardware. I would do anything from documentaries, to lists, to hardware unboxings, to live streams, and even first impressions just like the one you just saw. If that sounds good to you, join the Mafia by hitting that big red subscribe button, and I'll make you a made man. If you want to do one better, hit that bell icon, and you'll be notified the instant I drop new content. Anyway, I hope you're having a great 420, even if you don't smoke. Remember, it's the weekend and you're still among the living, so you don't need the Blaze one to have a good weekend. But to the Gambinos who do, light one up for the Don, and I'm Audi 51000G.